Hey guys, Hogwarts Player 736 here today and welcome to another video. So today we're actually going to be doing a quick car review. Haven't done one of those in a while, but today we're going to be taking a look at the 2018 release of the Beatles Yellow Submarine. So I have actually got quite a few of these models. Um, I just really like the casting and it's a Beatles Submarine, Yellow Submarine. So it's just pretty cool, you know. Um, but I'm actually going to have to open this one because this has a big crease on the um, back of it here. Um, and But otherwise I actually wouldn't have opened it because I just really like the look of this model. But I suppose it would be good for me to open it up and see what the model really looks like um, in full depth. So from the screen time series has been every release it's been in. It's been in the screen time. Um, so yeah, let's just crack this thing open. Can't really say anything else. Um, so the card art has not changed one bit since it's been released. Uh, I think it's been released three times now, and yeah, it still hasn't changed the card art. Wow, this is very interesting. Let's go. So this was actually extremely difficult to get to sit on the turntable. So I apologise if there's any awkwardness on how it's um, sitting on the point there. Um, but let's just get straight into the details of this model. So, on the sides, it's got these um, little peep holes, um, so yeah, that's nice touch there. And they have a blue or grey dot in the middle, why did I think that was blue? And then a red outline around them. Mine's a bit of a sloppy job, um, but I spot it looks alright. Um, then at the, at the front here, we have these two dots here. It actually kind of looks like a mouth, which I don't know if anyone else thinks that. I just think that just looks really weird. Um, but yeah, it, so yeah, it kind of looks like a fish or something, yeah, I don't really know. And then on here we have like, I don't even know what this thing is, it's just like a, a rainbow sort of thing, I don't know. Um, and of course we have the Hot Wheels logo on both sides, so it's basically just mi um, mirrored the tampos, so they look basically the same on each side. Um, and then on the back here we have some nice propellers, sadly they do not rotate. Um, but they are a different piece of plastic which is a nice touch, um, so that propeller piece there is actually the same piece as this red outline here. Um, so the metal parts of this model are the base, um, that's about it. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention these um, things here, once again, they, yeah they look like um, little spy holes or whatever, you, whatever they're called. Um, sorry, I'm not a submarine expert, <laughs> um, so yeah. Quite a nice model, um, it's designed very weird if you drill it apart, it's like one, two, three, four, five different pieces, so yeah, it's quite complex. Um, <clears throat> we've got these little wheels on the bottom, so I don't think this is going to be going too well on the track. Um, copyright 2014, um, so it was released for the first time in 2016, yes I'm correct. Um, and yeah, I remember I actually made a video on when this thing was first, um, the prototype was leaked, um, and no one really knew what it was, but it makes sense now. Um, so yeah, let's just go back to the reviewing or the unboxing space, and I'll give you my thoughts on this. I think this is like a really fun little model. Um, I definitely think you should pick it up. Um, do you know what would actually be really cool? If they made a floating version of this and you could put it in the bath or the sink or something, that would be pretty cool actually. So yeah, I'm going to be giving this one a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I had to think about that one. I wasn't too sure what to give it. Um, I am just I just don't really like these skinny wheels on the bottom. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. So check out my channel for more content like this. Like and subscribe. Bye for now.